If for some reason you've been a fan of this channel since 2012, one, thank you for keeping up with me, you're a gem, and two, you'll know that I like Godzilla movies. Being a fan of these fun monster movies, it shouldn't be a surprise that I follow the Godzilla subreddit. Recently, a trend jumped to prominence that I find really interesting. Godzilla Analog Horror. You most likely know what analog horror is, the big trend flooding horror YouTube. What I mean by Godzilla Analog Horror, it specifically is on the version of the monster that appears in Godzilla Raids Again from 1955. And I'll admit that the suit that appears in the movie, being cheaper and made and skinny, is really creepy, especially in a few of these images I've shown so far. The suit inspired these images made by Redditors that were inspired by the horror trend and the disturbing looking Godzilla. A blossoming series came out of this new trend in the fandom, a small YouTube series named The Suitmation Trials, which has begun to chronicle strange occurrences that the user caught in his copy of Godzilla Raids again. During his viewing of it in his planned marathon of the entire series, the video on screen now is what he saw. In all honesty, this video is pretty creepy. The atmosphere and the film even directly speaking to the viewer makes some good build up to a well deserved jump scare of Godzilla's roar and a close up of his eye. So far as of writing this, this is the only video that has come out, and I'll keep an eye on where this story goes, if it does go anywhere. As of now, these pictures and videos are nothing more but art and memes that are showing off the admittedly creepy look of the monster in the forgotten cash grab of the original film. As some memes go from the internet's past, hopefully this grows into a new trend of weird transformative art, or it will just stay as a niche meme inside its fandom and stay a parody of the popular analog horror videos, but we'll have to wait and see.